Mickey Danahy is joining us in the studio today. Hi there. Mickey, the world is changing fast today. In the world of uh, marketing communication as well, what has changed over the last, let's say, five years with the rise of new media and perhaps a bit of a regress of television and traditional media? I'll start with the positive. What hasn't changed is the power of ideas, starting point. Mm -hmm. What has changed is the delivery of the ideas dramatically. Uh, from the days when 90% of communication was TV driven or newspaper driven, uh, we now absolutely see that digital and social media uh, is rapidly overtaking many traditional uh, media. So newspapers are effectively a dying uh, commodity. Um, what is interesting on the back of that is that in theory, uh, marketing communication should be easier, uh, the effectiveness of marketing communication should be easier to judge digitally because it's very easy to measure click through and the rest of it. Um, but the truth is, uh, is that Lord Leverhulme's quote that 50% of my advertising is wasted holds true. Because even in the world of digital, there's a huge amount of communication that is not reliant on click through. It is about the taking on board of ideas uh, and, and clever communication that is still remains incredibly hard to measure. So what hasn't changed uh, at all is our real ability to measure out-and-out out effectiveness. That said, uh, we as an industry have become a lot better uh, at measuring the behavioural change, which ultimately most communication is about. What would you say about customers, basically? Uh, they have changed quite considerably over that, uh, that time. Is it not the case that they have grown the customers, potential customers, to be more and more sceptical of the marketing communication messages, basically? Well, it's interesting. We now have what we're calling Generation Y. Uh, which is the uh, people born really in the 80s and 90s who are basically uh, digital inhabitants. Uh, and they are people who are so comfortable sharing and acting in communities online that where uh, great marketing uh, and agencies are really making the most impact is to find out where the leaders are in those, in those conversations online uh, and finding out how to change the conversation that's happening online within communities. Because consumers are more and more taking um, their advice, their leadership, their ideas from other consumers rather than taking it literally from what they see on television. Mickey, we are witnessing some sort of revolution, aren't we, the last, the last few years with, with the new yeah. media. I'm coming back to that subject. But uh, yeah. So where are we now in view of the next five years, let's say? Yeah. Are we going to put television aside and, and, and minimize its, its, its role further or not? We're never going to put it fully aside. I and mean, We've got the World Cup just starting uh, tonight. Uh, that's going to draw millions and millions of viewers worldwide. And the power of the TV ads uh, in the breaks of those matches will remain unprecedented. We know the same as But the also truth. the amount of even small groups of people that are, for example, yeah. grouping themselves on the Facebook, they are growing in power as well. No, they are. And they sometimes even so I mean, for us big television stations. Yeah, you make a fair point, but I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I will not say, this is the death knell of television. Uh, worldwide shows like um, The X Factor or Britain's Got Talent will, rem will remain hugely powerful uh, drawers of consumers. But to the other side of it is clearly parallel to those events there is continual tweeting and digital interaction going on so that as soon as the match tonight is finished between Mexico and South Africa there will be a wave of comment on Facebook uh, on tweets uh, about the match about individual players performances so what is going to happen is that there is going to be a convergence of uh, attention still driven by above-the-line media but then commented on by consumers and it is the leaders of those commentaries who will have a huge impact in shaping people's ideas and beliefs about brands. So what would you say is the most important thing to remember if we want to make a marketing communication effective or efficient in the time to come? Well, I, 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 I'm old fashioned, it is simply about the quality of ideas. At the end of the day, what changes consumers' behaviour is the ability for brands to make emotional connections with people and that comes down to ideas. How those ideas are delivered is changing as we speak. And coming back to my, my earlier comment about the conversations that are taking place online, those are the conversations that uh, brands and agencies need to be helping direct 
uh, uh, and, and turn positively towards brands. So I think that's where we will see it happening. Mikey, thank you very much. My indeed. pleasure. Thank you.